But here we're a little bit upstream from the confluence of the Good Hope tributary and the main stem of the paint branch. This is young Mr. Angelo. He's going on a hike with me today to check out the Good Hope tributary. And this is the famous Good Hope where 95 or 90 percent of the uh, trout spawning occurs in this tributary of the paint branch. As you can see, it's a very beautiful little stream. And over here, you can see some of the wetlands that provide the cool, clear water that helps maintain the cold base flow of the stream even during the hottest part of the summer. Here you can see more wetlands here. There's a little tributary that comes in from the left. We're following the path along this little ridge along the stream. We saw some nice trout, some like six to eight inch trout. You can see the vegetation coming all the way down to the stream itself. There's a trout lilies and some uh, skunk cabbage there. The trout lilies and dwarf ginseng carpeting the forest floor. There are some invasives in here, especially multiflora rose. We're up on top of the rock outcrop. I'm not a fern specialist, but there's all kind of species of ferns that just prefer the tops of rock outcrops like this. And you can see here, there's a whole colony of fern species on top of this uh, little rock outcrop. What do we got growing on this log here? Um, Remember what that is? Moss. Moss, that's right. And how about these flowers down here? Look at those flowers. What kind of flowers we got? Um, we got um, Spring Beauty. Um... We have fir we got different types of ferns there, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And remember those little white flowers over here? Those white ones right down there? I don't remember. Okay, dwarf ginseng. Now you um, remember? Yep. And how about those green leaves there? See those green leaves with the four? Yeah. Remember which that one's called? Um. Remember it has the flower that grows underneath the leaves? With this one? Yeah. Um, yeah, that one you just touched. Um. Touch it again. Mm -hmm. Remember um, that was? Um, the, the red apple? May apple. Oh, May, May apple. apple. Very good, very good. And how about these plants here that have the really big leaves? Skunk Remember cabbage? that one? Skunk cabbage? Skunk cabbage, that's right. Boy, you got a lot of spring beauties, huh? Everywhere you look, spring beauties and skunk cabbage, and what else we got down there? Remember the ones with the mottled, the leaf? It has little mottled brown leaves. Not too much over there. But look, there's a lot of wetland areas over here at the bottom of the hill. The one with the mottled leaves is called trout lily. Remember? There's a lot on the bank over there. A lot of trout lilies growing right there, right along the edge, and all over in the wetland plain. We found a perfect little vernal pool here. Angelo's 
going to the other side. We're right next to the stream. Wow. And of course, this is the perfect green ground for frogs. And there are just a million. Tadpoles. Mr. Angelo taking a good close look. Let's see how close we can get. They all seem to be moving in the hey, same I direction. I see one taking rest. <laughs> one, one is on the, on the, on the, on the dirt. On, on the very ground. On the mm -hmm. ground. It's not swimming. Further up stream in the Good Hope. You can see the wetland on the other side. Oh, there's a woodpecker. You hear the woodpecker? Did you hear the woodpecker? That reminds me of. Hear him? Yeah, that reminds me of, of a kind of woodpecker. That yeah. reminds me of a kind, one kind. Uh huh. Um, I can't identify him just by their. That yeah, I, he's hard at work, isn't he? Um, I think it was a deli woodpecker. A red belly woodpecker. A yeah, red I, belly woodpecker. No, a deli woodpecker. A deli woodpecker. No, I think uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's I called think a, a red, red belly because yeah. they have a red belly. Yeah, a red belly uh -huh. woodpecker. When you get to see him close up. Because when we went to that um, place with Allison. Uh huh. Um, oh, yeah, when you went to the nature when center. We, when we pressed the button, uh -huh. it says. Oh, that's what a red belly woodpecker sounds like, huh? Yep, and it, and it, and, and, and that's what it's, and it said its name, and then it made the sound. Uh -huh. And that's what it sounded like. Just like that, huh? Yep. I bet you you're right, because I know I've seen red belly woodpeckers here in the forest here along the uh, Good Hope. Just another spot along the stream. You can just see a little wetland area. That's where it empties out to the stream. And you can see the hillside carpeted with ferns and trout lilies. And if you look a little closer, you can see the spring beauties. And there's some dwarf ginseng. There are about 30 different 30-some different species of ferns have been catalogued in the Pink Branch watershed.